What up YouTube, Nate here, and today, pickup videos, coming back for season six, in the glorious house of games. Like I say, the thrift is dead, but Thrift Dweller is immortal. But today, non-video game pickups, actually there's video game related items in here, there's actually some video games as well, but I don't know what I'm going to call this yet, let's just call it a pickup video, as we do in every video that we shoot. Thrift Dweller trademarked segments, the three segments that people have known and grown to love. The first segment we call Ding Ding Ding, shelf padding. Things we got because they were cheap. Picked this up at a thrift store with my buddy Mick. If you don't remember him, he recently gave me a, he uh, didn't give it to me, but he asked me to sell this storage locker of video games and everything. I ended up selling all of it, most of it, at the end of season five. <laughs> during our winter break. He was very happy with his uh, transaction, what he got for it. He was very satisfied he would have got more because he went with us as opposed to going to the uh, video game store. I went out with him for lunch to give him his money and we found this. I picked it up for about four bucks at a Salvation Army Batman Holy Terror. Yeah, I don't know. It's a graphic novel for four bucks and I think there's a lot of reading material here. I got a bag of toys here. See that? $2.99 from Valley Village. Bag of toys. And if you don't know, I started a sister channel to Thrift Dweller. My own personal channel called Nate's Reviews where I, uh, I focus on my personal uh, things that I, I like. I'm going to open this up on Nate's Reviews. Check for the link in the description below. The reason I'm doing it on that channel is because there is an ongoing kind of video blog thing there. That this is... You know, it has to be open there. But you can see there's some Power Rangers in there, some Super Friends. This actually was given to me by buddy Derek, fan of the show. Nate's Reviews, actually, and Thrift Dweller, he watches it too. He asked, uh, he wanted to give this to me probably because he wasn't happy with the purchase. He got it as an impulse. A Figma figure, it's actually my first Figma, and I have shown it on a pickup video before, but I wanted to refresh everybody because, especially Derek, I'm sorry I haven't gotten to reviewing this yet. I am going to review it. I have a pile of things to review for Nate's Reviews on Season 2 of that channel. Uh, check it out in the description below. But if you're a Figma fan, let me know. Part of me already is biased that I'm not a fan of Figmas because they're so small. Even just the quantity to uh, price ratio. Figmas are expensive. It has that anime tax on it. From what I understand, Derek got this online for really cheap. It is a uh, sword art online. Which I'm not ashamed to say I've heard of it before. It looks hot. I've seen it on Netflix, I'm pretty sure. I haven't even watched it yet. But yeah, comment below. Let me, let me know what you think about that. Shelf padding. $3.99 for a PlayStation 3 controller. Big fans of these controllers. <laughs> Mainly because I can use them on my computer as well. Uh, they make good emulator controllers. PlayStation and Super Nintendo. Kind of go back and forth in terms of like the perfect controller in Thrift Dweller Camp. Lester, I'm sure, would agree. So would Ian and Gary. Super Nintendo probably is not as good as the PlayStation controller, but it's just so familiar to us that it's in the running for the best controller ever. There's a reason the PlayStation controller hasn't changed from its first iteration till now. Only slight tweaks and adjustments, mostly in the triggers. I still prefer the PlayStation 3 trigger as opposed to the PS4 one. Just saying, putting it out there, let me know. A buck! I am a big fan of the UFC. I like mixed martial arts. I like combat sports in general. This was a buck. It has the BJ Penn Matt Hughes fight. Last two shelf padding items in this list. Not a big anime fan, but for a dollar at the thrift store, this is Zone of Enders. I haven't seen it before, an anime based on the game. Uh, the reason it sold so well because it had a demo of Metal Gear Solid 2, which was like the hottest game on the planet at the time. You have to remember, this is before internet. There was no internet. Yes, yes, yes. I have a lot of anime friends that Play these games, Ed and Max, I'm looking at you. Uh, a buck, again, at the thrift store. Can't go wrong. There was also a bunch of other uh, anime DVDs there, but generally I don't pick them up if they look like they're supposed to be part of a season. Like there was one that had episodes 12 through 15. Like, oh, I want to see episode 1 to 10 first, right? Lots of DVDs, look at this one here. Charlie's Angels. The dollar store is selling box sets of shows and DVDs. This is season one of Charlie's Angels. 
my grandfather and I used to watch a lot of TV as a kid. Like, when I was a kid. He was a good kid, obviously. Miami Vice, Charlie's Angels was, like, on. Uh, not back-to-back, -back, but they, around the same time slot. And I'm excited to watch it because I can't even remember a single episode. I just remember as a kid. Probably started my adolescence. Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett. The original pit -up. Speaking of first girlfriends, I was a big He-Man fan back in the day. But I must admit, She-Ra was pretty darn close. I liked She-Ra. For the longest time, I've had Season 1, Volume 2 because it was $5.00 at a Zeller's before they closed down. I picked that up. And at the flea market, actually, John, one of our, our frequent uh, vendors that we we frequent <laughs> and gallivant to, had this. Season 1, Volume 1 of Shira. Look how big this box That's huge. This is a big box set. How many discs is in this? 32 episodes per volume. I have two volumes. I have 64 episodes of Shira. I even have He-Man Season 1, Volume 1 and 2, and I think Season 2, Volume 1. So, that's like over 150 episodes of She-Ra and He-Man combined. I'm happy with that. Speaking of Thrift Dweller being immortal, Highlander, The Search for Vengeance, anime adaptation of Highlander. I've never seen this before, but uh, I was a big fan of Highlander growing up. I used to watch the TV show. I didn't watch the movie that Edge was in. But the original movie with that guy, <laughs> the original movie with Raiden in it, I watched that tons as a kid. I had it on VHS. It was on my regular rotation. That, Predator, uh, was on my rotation. Terminator 2 and Forrest Gump. Like the four VHS tapes my family owned. Two ninety nine at Valley Village, minus 30% off four. Season, the complete first season of Boy Meets World. Topanga. Speaking of childhood girlfriends, Topanga has to be on my list, right? Let me know. Comment below. List uh, your top five childhood girlfriends. I'll list mine in the description of this video. Topanga is going to be on it, though. Ooh. Tiffany Amber Thiessen is another one. Childhood uh, girlfriends. I married my, my childhood girlfriend. And that's a shoot. That's not even a joke. Video games I'll save till the end. Ah. $1 DVDs for... I showed that one already. Trish Stratus. Stratisfaction. Is that creepy or what? Let me know. I picked that up. She's Canadian, man. Trish Stratus. I respected her as a wrestler. Let me know in your comments below what you think. Did Lita carry her through a lot of the matches? I know she was a fitness model at first, but really, she transitioned into wrestling. And she did pretty good for somebody who didn't grow up to be like a wrestling fan. Did I show this in the pickup video? I don't remember if I did. But I'm showing it now because uh, I'm going to be reviewing this on the channel. Devil May Cry by NECA. One of the few action figures I've actually seen for Devil May Cry. It has a window box display. And I'll, I'll say it now. The window box display does not impress me. But I want to open it up to see. Maybe if I open it up, it'll be uh, better than what it looks like in the window. Ian gave this to me as a donation for reviewing on the channel. I probably have to give it back to him when I'm done. You can buy this at your EB Games. It was, I think, $25 Canadian. I promised video games. $10 minus my discount at PNP Games. I think that's like 15%. For a boy in his blob for the Wii. Thought I might as well pick it up now. 10 bucks ain't no thing. A buck my wife picked it up for. She thought this game would be worth a lot. Batman Vengeance for the GameCube. The general rule is there's no good Batman games until you get to like Arkham City. The Nintendo ones aren't that bad, though. I think people are pretty harsh on that. But this game, oh, you want to talk about bag of suck balls, Batman Vengeance. Ugh. It looks disgusting on the back, right? Look at that garbage on the back. You see that? Look at that. Those screenshots do not sell this game. But a really good game for a dollar at the thrift store. Picked up from my wife. Ooh, things are moving around. Ooh, ooh. There's two games in this. A buck for Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube. Fantastic. Fantastic title. One of the few games when I got back into gaming was because of the GameCube. Like I fell off in the PlayStation 1. Uh, Super Nintendo era really. And I played the remake of Resident Evil on the GameCube. Second game I played on the GameCube. Right here. Loved it. Great game. Very happy to have it. 
And, ooh, there was a mystery disc inside this. Sorry, this has no manual. There was a mystery disc. Is it Zelda? Nope. It is uh, some sort of pro surfer game that I don't really care about. And a game actually I don't own. Wife picked it up at the thrift store. Same time she picked up all those other ones. SSX3. I know it's a sports title for the GameCube, but SSX Tricky. Games I love playing on the GameCube. Probably the third game I played when I got back into gaming. SSX1, uh, which I think was SSX Tricky. This is the EB or EA Big games. Like they did NBA Street and all that stuff. Really over the top arcadey type action. There you go. Is there a manual in this game? No manuals. We've done it. We've come to the end of the video. The best pickup of this video, aka the maple syrup pickup of the week. Before I dive into this, it's right here. Shout outs to some of the people uh, that are helping us on our return to YouTube video, namely NT1138. Uh, he's supposed to be sending us a top three Tuesday. Rejuvenating, bringing back the community. I, love, I used to love Top 3 Tuesday. Every Tuesday, that was my go-to video on YouTube. Then he stopped doing it for whatever reason. Uh, he called him the 4th Thrift Dweller. Jeremy, the 5th Thrift Dweller. He's uh, participating, throwing in a video for us. That guy's collection has shifted, but in a good direction, in my opinion. Michael B. The Game Genie, sending us a shout-out. Kid Shuyuken, Sega Stoner. The Sega Stoner is going to be in a video, again, about video games. Homie, I met up with him in BC. Who else is sending us video? Nintendo Cade? Danny? Oh, I was, so, I was so happy that he accepted to send us something. The Gaming File might be sending something. He's busy right now. But check out his Game Room Tour. Oh, big fan of that. One of the best in Canada on YouTube, in my opinion, right now. Canadian Zangief? Oh, yeah. It's going to be a big one. If, if you haven't seen it yet, this video is probably coming out after that spectacular return to YouTube. Check in the description below. Best pickup of this video. If you haven't followed me on Nate's Reviews, you might not know one of my favorite comic books, comic book storylines of all time. The Infinity Gauntlet, I read it when I was a kid. I used to be friends with these kids, Mark and Matthew, in, from church. And they were older than me by a little bit, so they were into comics when I couldn't afford comics. They had a Super Nintendo when I was still playing Nintendo. You know, they were, they were older, they were in their teens. I was pre-teen at the time. And they had this really wicked comic book collection, which my parents didn't buy me comic books. They had this! The Infinity Gauntlet! I read it first. I read all six issues. Uh, they they watched me read it because they didn't want me ruining their pages. But one of the first and best storylines I've ever read. One of the most well written storylines for all the the big Marvel characters. I'm not saying one of the best written stories ever. You know, Watchmen fans would kill me. Uh, but one of the best managed and written storylines that has all the top Marvel superheroes in it. You got issue one there. Issue two there. Issue the Thrice. Oh, look at that. This is the whole Thrift Dweller Season 6. Come and get me, bro. The Entities of Space? I can't remember what their names are, but you got like the big the big guns that make the universe run. Right there. Ooh, ooh. I'll do some B-roll of these comic books. It's been a while since I picked up comic books that I really wanted. Uh, right now, I'm on a 90s and late 80s kick because those comics are very cheap. But those are the ones that have the most emotional, sentimental attachment to me. Jim Lee comic books, Scarlet Spider storyline, Spider Armor. Even when Hologram was huge, you know, everything was a collector's edition, first issue, reprinting, whatever. I want to find those comics that people don't appreciate that much. And right now, you can buy those really cheap. Not that they're going to be an investment for me in the future or anything like that. I just want to own them. You remember that, like, X-Men multi-cover thing by Jim Lee? Oh, that was a good cover. One of the best covers, in my opinion, ever. Yeah, if you want to hear me talk more geek stuff, check out Nate's Reviews. That's pretty much what that channel is all dedicated to. Follow us on Facebook.com forward slash Thrift Dwellers with an S. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm the one who manages Thrift Dwellers' Twitter account, at Thrift Dweller. And also, I'm on Instagram, at Thrift Dweller Nate. Everything will be linked in the description below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you, girls, very much for watching. When we say guys, we mean everyone, okay? Sorry. Thank you, people, for watching.